It's Tech Tuesday, constantly on the watch for John Gordon and his light frisbee. I'm Liam Spore, but I am a bit distracted by these guilt brownies. Thanks, Mrs. Ziff. Number five. The CallPod Fuel Tank Uno is perfect for any person afflicted with the short battery life of cell phones and MP3 players, so anyone with a smartphone. The Fuel Tank Uno is a compact little device that can recharge a portable device on the go, so it basically acts as a backup battery for your phone in case you can't pop out the battery and replace it, like on the iPhone or Palm Pre. Tons of adapter tips are available, so it's unlikely that your device isn't supported. For 40 bucks, it's cheap enough to pick up even for those few emergencies that you just might not have power. I just hope it finally kills the lost in the woods and my phone is dead part of basically any horror movie. Number four, Gateway 1 all-in-one touchscreen PCs are set to hit the market in line with Windows 7. So naturally, they ship with Windows 7. Did I really have to explain that? The One features a 23-inch touchscreen that utilizes some bundled-in touch apps to control music and movies and such. It's got plenty of ports to connect all of your junk, normal for an all-in-one. The biggest features to check out are the dual hard drives. One, a solid state drive that holds apps and the OS, meaning fast boot times and app response. And the other, a standard hard disk, so you can have plenty of space for music, movies, and other data. Best of both worlds. There's also a built-in TV tuner, meaning you can make this thing your new HD TV in your living room, rather than streaming to a separate TV. The HD is killed a bit whenever you grease up the screen with all that touching. Number three. Red cameras need no introduction. They are the coolest looking, best quality cameras available. Yes, they run at like 30 grand for a body, but they record in 4K resolution. That's four times 1080 high def. Red just released info on its new Scarlet and Epic camera bodies, along with some sweet looking accessories to go along with them. Reds are known to be the most versatile and flexible rigs with tons of add-ons and configuration options. I heard the technology director watches my show every week, and in no way is this related to convincing him to pulling some strings and getting us a red rig. Number two, I'd like to tell everyone that this segment is now in HD. Doesn't the quality look so much better than it did last week? Of course it does. It's HD. Some may be agreeing on the picture increase. Well, you're being tricked. A recent study found that if you expect something to have a great picture and are led to believe so, like seeing an expensive looking DVD player and a big insulated cable plugged into a TV, even if that TV is standard F, you will believe the quality is better than if you watch the same TV and are told that it's just a normal DVD signal. It's called the placebo effect. Go ask Mrs. Dietz if you want to know any more about it. She would love to explain. So next time you're watching that cheap 20 inch basement CRT, just close your eyes and imagine it's HD. No heel clicking is required. Number one. The next big showdown may not be between HD DVD or Blu-ray, or Mac versus PC, but a battle of ports, USB 3.0 versus Lightpeak. Lightpeak is said to be the new Apple standard, maybe. Lightpeak is basically fiber optics like Verizon Fios internet, but a port that connects to your hard drive or cameras. Intel is the mastermind behind this, just like the USB, and just like USB, Apple is giving some hardcore support for the connector, meaning that you may see Lightpeak connectors on Apple devices as early as 2010. Lightpeak is fast. 10 gigabytes per second fast. In comparison, USB 2.0 is only 400 megabits per second. There's 1,000 megabits in a gigabit. Yeah, that's fast. Apple partnering with Intel is big, seeing as the original USB was first featured heavily supported by the iMac and which basically began the USB revolution. Viva la light peak. Yes, computer ports can be dramatic. That's all for this week. Check out Tech Tuesday on YouTube at youtube.com slash tech Tuesday. Till then, I'll be envying all this expensive junk I talk about every week yet can't afford. See you next Tuesday. Where are my brownies at?